will astral dim be manifesting this new moon solar eclipse edition fuck no and please don't listen to anyone else that says you should i do not care what i don't care and let me tell you why First of all, a solar eclipse is just a special new moon, right? Where the sun and moon are coming together conjunct, but they are vertically and horizontally aligned too. And because of that, the moon will be covering the sun in the Earth's perspective, okay? Now, if you take a look at the solar eclipses at 19 degrees Gemini, showing that internally and externally, we want to expand within our communication, as well as our mind frame and our thought, changing the way we think so we could become better. But this takes a lot of reflection and correcting and healing like i said the solar eclipse is in gemini and the ruler of gemini is mercury and mercury is retrograde so we are in the reflective and introspective phase this is not a time to do and start anything new this is time for rest will astral dim be manifesting this new moon solar eclipse edition part two like i said fuck no so the solar eclipse is having a close conjunction with mercury retrograde which is the ruler of the sign in which the solar eclipse is in if you were to manifest you will be making mistakes and issues the thing is is that the solar eclipse is extremely karmic time a time for rest and a time for you to allow the universe to you know fix things within your life and make big changes within your life fully surrender us as humans coming in you know mistake prone like a motherfucker during a mercury retrograde we are bound to make mistakes that could affect our entire lives honestly the reason why we make mistakes during mercury retrograde is the universe is showing us what we need to fix within our lives immediately and with it being in gemini again this has a lot to do with our communication our mind frame our thought process even with spirit even within ourselves and especially with other people check out part three well astral then be manifesting this new moon solar eclipse edition part three again do not manifest during any eclipses especially this one because this eclipse is conjunct mercury retrograde is in gemini which is ruled by mercury but then also it is square it's making an applying square to neptune like yo the disillusionment oh my god neptune is very alluring and beautiful and magical and everything but it's also representing disillusionment confusion mistakes and escapism and with this solar eclipse squaring neptune Add an applying square at that. With Mercury also squaring Neptune, we're not in the clear mind right now. We need to be thinking about how we integrate our intuition to our logic and vice versa. This is not the time, y'all. Part four, Lord. Will Astro then be manifesting this new moon? Solar Eclipse Edition, part four. So again, this eclipse is conjunct Mercury retrograde, bad. At an applying conjunction, bad. Also making an applying square to Neptune, bad again. It's just no. This only good aspect is that the solar eclipse is trining Saturn, which makes me think that you guys might actually listen to me and you won't be too combative about it. <laughs> You know easily integrating what authority is, is saying especially someone has been like practicing and studying for years like me I, i'm saturn here but with saturn retrograde though we are reflecting and being introspective on how we have authority and control over our uniqueness our unconventional ways what makes us different and it all starts with the mind talking about aquarius an air sign here and the mind is ruled by mercury which is also retrograde so again we have to kind of recognize and realize certain things we need to heal within ourselves before we start manifesting you change our lives. Well, last will then be manifesting this new moon, solar eclipse edition, part five. Fuck no, I'm not, and you should not either. If you've seen the previous parts, you will understand why I said please don't manifest during any eclipse, especially this one. But if you take a look at this chart, it's slightly different from the charts that I used. It is because in this chart, I'm showing how in a few hours after the eclipse, we are going to have a Sun Mercury Kazemi which is when basically the sun and mercury are conjunct at a 17 minute orb these conjunctions are generally benevolent because you're able to express the mercury abilities such as communication intelligence organization routine and stuff like that without the sun burning it out however at the end of the day this is a conjunction that has squares to it square neptune but mercury kazemi is not going to save you from it actually the kazemi is showing you how you need to improve and tighten up your intuition and apply it logically Use this energy to review yourself so you can be the best version of yourself 
advice on this upcoming solar eclipse slash mercury kazini eclipses are a time in which we need to rest think about it during a lunar eclipse the earth's shadow is blocking the moon giving moon rest and then the solar eclipse the moon casts a shadow or blocks the sun giving the, the sun rest this is a time in which we have to surrender to the universe and allow this karmic event to play out in our lives in which the most high would want it to play out you know what i mean if we were to get into this energy untrained we can cause some things that will happen to us that we might regret especially with how this is aspected with a conjunct mercury retrograde which makes us accident prone and square neptune which also makes us accident prone mercury kazemi brings out our inner genius use this time to reflect on how you could be a better version of yourself and think of cool ideas that you can later utilize after the mercury retrograde is done good luck and happy solar eclipse